just a quick update here on the ninth pre-market so we're getting a gap up here I sold my TQQQ for some profit because I don't like the way that this is setting up um, structure wise um, if this was going to be a third wave I'd be very surprised if it played out like that and go straight to 422 um, because if we look at the structure of this move we get an A wave here <clears throat> I think a B wave is what we're ending here we should get a C wave down most likely because my reasoning on that is because this is a corrective move right here this is a corrective move right here and this is a corrective move as well for a C wave to be that short and corrective that doesn't make any sense to end an ABC pattern and then just gap up so what I think is happening is this is a B and we're getting a C wave up here so I could be wrong but that's my that is what I'm leaning towards and um, <clears throat> that's why I sold pre-market um, so I'll just watch it I'll be very surprised if we just melt up and this ends up being one two and we get a third wave up to 422 with CPI next Tuesday I'd be very surprised then again this market's pretty wild so uh, you expect the unexpected but this is the most likely pattern um, without going into too much detail this is basically gonna be let's say it tops at the open we'd be looking for about pretty much a double bottom with this so I'd be looking for something down here for a C wave and again if this is the A wave this lasted about two hours and 15 minutes two hours and five minutes this would last 1045 all the way to the morning it's about let's say it ends at 835 just guessing um, let's see 20 425 plus about 215 so we got three twenty would be the normal how long this would take for the C wave to start, but it did start right here. It looks like so you can take off about fifty minutes. Um, Two seventy is no, that's not right. I'm doing this wrong basically it doesn't really matter that much the C waves is going to be about half of the total of a and B so again this is still the B wave so I guess I should be calculating this right here sorry about that 1040 to 12 o'clock there was an hour and 20 this was about two hours and 15 so three hours and 35 so this might take an hour and like 15 minutes so we're looking at something around 9 45 10 45 eastern for this to be finished so we might just be looking at a third wave right here pull back and it might last for like an hour into the after the open closes and then i would look and then we can calculate this right here which is 14 45 1035 that's about two hours and 20 minutes this was about four out say five hours and 20 minutes so seven hours and 40 minutes I would expect the C wave to be finished if it happened um, about three and a half to four hours so let's say we started at 945 be done by later today I guess we'll see that'd be pretty crazy I don't know what would cause that though that's the problem so I'm just guessing right now but I do think this looks like a C wave right here and I'm trying to get the timing down obviously timing is very hard to get down but that would be my guess finish this 9 30 to 10 o'clock central time to 10 30 to 11 o'clock Eastern and then 
come down here basically into the end of the day. So based on all that, I'm going to look for a short position. If I see a good opportunity, I'll probably use SQQQ again. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's just me talking through this and what I see. If it keeps on melting up, then we have to consider that it is a third wave. That'd be very surprising, but um, we'll see what happens. In that case, this whole move would end up being the B wave. We'd be looking for a C wave up to like 429. Um, and if it comes down here, then this would end up being A. Be looking for a B wave all the way over here and then a C wave down. Because this whole thing would end up being um, A, B, C. And then we would get a five wave move down here. And then that would be the B wave. And then it would go higher. So then at that point, I would start considering this being a triangle for how many times it goes back and forth. So we'll have to look into that here and see what happens. <clears throat> it's going to be interesting to see what happens at the first hour of the market. But I'll personally be looking for any opportunity to get short based on what I think this is going to be.